With Roblox being over a decade old, I can't help but wonder, when was Roblox truly at its peak? With so many changes being added to the game, and the player count increasing by millions every year, what era can be considered the best in Roblox's history? Many players believe that the period from 2010 to 2014 was Roblox's golden age, and honestly, I agree. There are many reasons why this era stands out as the glory days of Roblox. First, let's talk about one of Roblox's forgotten features, the forums. Beyond the games we played, Roblox once had forums where users could discuss various topics. These forums played a significant role in the community. The forums were versatile whether you were trading limited items, introducing yourself, or even discussing topics outside of Roblox. Nowadays, forums are only used for game development. And with their removal, Roblox unintentionally got rid of an important part of its community. Now, let's take a look at Roblox's identity problem. Modern Roblox is trying way too hard to appeal to both kids and adults, leading to a serious identity crisis. Let's take a look at Roblox's biggest competitor, Minecraft. Minecraft appeals to a broad range of players while maintaining a consistent aesthetic. Roblox struggles to maintain a clear identity. The website's design is a perfect example. If you compare the website today to 2011, the difference is staggering. The 2011 website had a lot of charm, it looked fun, and had personality. In contrast, the current Roblox website, stripped of its once vibrant colors and playful design, now feels like a sterile, corporate shell of its former self. It's as if the joy and excitement that once greeted players on the homepage have been replaced with a cold, impersonal interface that feels more like a business platform rather than a platform for games. Even by 2014, while not as bubbly as 2011, Roblox still had color and some resemblance of personality. Today, it's just soulless. I understand Roblox is trying to appeal to a wider audience, which is why everything is more neutral, but there has to be a better way to do this. A billion dollar game company should have the resources to maintain creativity and charm. Back then, Roblox had a clear aesthetic. It was blocky, but it wasn't Lego. You could build, but it wasn't Minecraft. The different body types available for avatars still look like they belonged in Roblox. Nowadays, your avatar can look like an IMVU character. For example, the IT Girl bundle feels way too out of place in Roblox. I think it's cool that Roblox allows users to create their own clothes and accessories, but it's just too much. While there's a lot of meme potential in some marketplace items, the sheer randomness of some of these items just don't feel right. Take the villager item, or the anime fantasy fighter girl bundle. These don't even resemble Roblox anymore. Listen, there's nothing wrong with innovation, but these types of items are way too extreme. And why do boobs even exist on Roblox? The crop top girl torso is a clear example of something that feels out of place. This type of item is something I would expect to see in like a dating simulator or something. Another removed feature is ticks. Tix was a crucial currency. It allowed people to earn without having to pay for Robux or subscriptions, giving everyone a chance to buy items from the catalog. Tix also gave people the opportunity to earn through place visits, so creators didn't have to rely on microtransactions in their games. Of course, there were VIP t-shirts that players could purchase for special in-game perks, but it wasn't as crazy as it is today. Nowadays, games bombard you with notifications asking you to spend on microtransactions. During the glory days of Roblox, it felt like games were made more for fun rather than monetization. Old Roblox may have been littered with obbies and copy and pasted games, but that problem still continues today. The difference is that now games are filled with more microtransactions. One last thing that Roblox did a lot better back then was the event. I'm not even speaking from nostalgia. Events back then were objectively a lot better, especially the winter, Halloween, and Easter events. It felt like Roblox put a lot of effort into making these events special. Let's compare the prizes from the golden era of Roblox to modern day events, and the difference is honestly embarrassing. For instance, in Roblox's 2013 Halloween event, you could earn a total of 39 free items. In 2021, you can only get up to 5 free prizes, and not only were they underwhelming in design, but they were also sponsored by Chipotle. Listen guys, I have nothing against Chipotle, but when wearing these items, you look like a walking advertisement. What if I don't even like Chipotle? 
Why would I even want to play these games for these prizes? Let's talk about the egg hunt. The last egg hunt was 4 years ago at the time of this video, and it wasn't even well received. Especially since players were forced to participate in games they didn't like just to complete the event. Listen, Roblox has evolved throughout many years of its existence. Starting with Little to Nothing in 2007, it has grown into a platform with over 70 million daily active users. Yet despite this massive growth, many would argue that Roblox's true golden age was between 2010 and 2014. During that period, Roblox had a distinct identity, a platform where creativity thrived and the focus was on fun rather than profit. As Roblox continues to grow, it is essential to remember that its success was built on a foundation of creativity, community, and fun. Without these core elements, the platform risks losing what made it special in the first place. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. If you have any thoughts on this video, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.